Britain is facing at least five more years of austerity. The country's finance minister says there's no miracle cure for the country's economy. The highly anticipated autumn statement by George Osborne brought little relief for public already angered by government cuts. For more on this story, I'm joined now live by Sarah Firth from London. Sarah, what exactly did the Chancellor say about the measures the UK public will face? It's taking time, but the economy is healing. Those were pretty much the first words out of Chancellor George Osborne's mouth. Now, uh, that was met to laughter uh, in the House of Parliament. It's the way he tells them, isn't it? I mean, he then delivered us uh, in this autumn statement, the read as a kind of mini budget, uh, that borrowing has in fact been revised up, that debt is rising, not falling, and that Britain can settle in for more spending cuts, more cuts to welfare and austerity all the way to 2018. And despite all of that, he still tried to convince us that the government are making some progress. Now, it wasn't a particularly bright autumn statement. No one was expecting that. We were expecting this gloomy uh, forecast for the uh, economic future, but uh, it was pretty tough. And of course, as we said, the Chancellor trying to uh, sort of convince people that things are actually uh, working, uh, that they're pushing ahead with this similar plan that many people are saying is simply failing. He's definitely not up to the job and hasn't been right from the outset. What he has is an ideology which is about dismantling an important welfare state and uh, making sure that those that are on high incomes are protected. You know, Sarah, we hear how hard people are still struggling in the UK and elsewhere in Europe. But what does this statement actually mean in real terms for the people? Well, you know, all across uh, Britain right now, people are going to be watching this in their homes, uh, businesses. They're going to be, have been watching what the Chancellor was saying very, very closely and trying to figure out now, uh, as we came over the different facts and figures, exactly what that means to them in real terms. Now, in that respect, when you listen to the autumn statement, a very concerning part of that speech that George Osborne delivered was when he spoke about welfare. And really, we saw the Conservative attack uh, on welfare continuing. And now you you listen to the language and the rhetoric that was used there. He talked about fairness, but then he said fairness also needs to be about the person who leaves home in the morning and looks over to their neighbour who's asleep, living a life on benefits. I'm not sure how much George Osborne really knows about living on benefits, but I can tell you it's not much of a life. Uh, RT has spent the last couple of months investigating exactly what is going on with the UK's welfare system. And it's a miserable failure all round. The work programme figures released a week or so ago, failing the people on benefits, and uh, recently brought in a new rule uh, for people on disability benefits who are going to perhaps be forced into unpaid work. I mean, it really smacks of back to the days of the British workhouses. And it is incredibly concerning. And, you know, I, I'm not pulling any punches here. The state of the welfare system in this country right now is absolutely diabolical. And, and in the coming years, you're going to have some horrendous stories coming out about these people, the most vulnerable in our society, suffering. And really, if you go into the detail of what George Osborne was saying today, it seems that the most vulnerable in society are going to be the ones who are, in fact, going to have to pay for this continued austerity. And make no mistake, they're really going to suffer. This is an austerity program that's not even halfway through. And we still have more cuts ahead of us, more cuts to spending, more cuts to welfare, and more real-term pain for the people in this country. Sarah, I can tell how this is affecting you. Tougher times ahead for all Brits, and it's going to be an even tougher end of the year. Thank you very much. Sarah Further reporting live from London.